Hi, I'm Nick, and this is a show about art. This show is all about your art and your creations. Every episode is different, but every episode will challenge you to try new things, learn new stuff, and become a better creator. Oh, and let's inspire and encourage each other through it all. Let's get into it. Hi, welcome to my new series, a show about art. I created this series as a way of inspiring myself and others to keep on creating art. So many times, artists tell me that they have trouble thinking of what to draw next. Sometimes they get bored of the way that they draw, and sometimes they just don't know where to start with new materials. From personal experience, it can definitely feel very intimidating to try new things like digital art, watercolours and oil paints for the first time. The goal of this show is to tackle these everyday artist problems together. Each episode is going to be different. There'll be a new source of artist inspiration every week in the form of tutorials, artist interviews and more. There'll also be an artist challenge every single week. But that's not even the best part of it. At the start of every episode, I'm going to be featuring the artworks you create in response to the artist challenges of the week. There'll be prizes on offer. No matter what your skill level is as an artist, anyone can be featured and anyone can win a prize. The important thing is that we motivate and encourage each other to become better artists. So enough of this chit chat, let's get into the first segment of the show. Now every week's artist inspiration segment is different, so we're going to be using a special machine I built to determine this week's segment. It's called the Segment Type Uniform Periodic Identification Deseriatum Machine, or S-T-U-P-I-D for short. Let's boot it up. Today we're going to take a look at the artwork of amazing New Zealand born artist James Ormiston. James Ormiston's art style is a mix of surrealism and realism. He's also addicted to drawing octopi and space related artworks. That's about all the explanation you need to appreciate his sliced moon orange and this nicely peeled banana moon. I was actually able to track down James Ormiston for a quick interview about his style of work. Let's hear the man speak. My name is James Ormiston and I draw strange little storybook illustrations that have no story. My art is an outlet for the weird little stories I come up with when I'm bored. And I do it because I don't know how to do anything else at this point. That is my answer. <laughs> I think my art is an extension of the way I talk, which is to selfishly derail every conversation into a weird flight of fancy for my own amusement and I do the same thing when I paint it's it's always for my own amusement and sometimes the joke isn't hey wouldn't it be funny if there was pizza on the moon it's more hey wouldn't it be funny if some guy spent weeks meticulously painting pizza on the moon most of my art ideas come out of daydreaming when I'm bored and I get bored really easily. Uh, I grew up on a farm where there's not a lot of stimulation so I would come up with little stories to make the time go faster and I pretty much just do the same thing now but I paint it. I think my art is very formulaic at this point. I always just combine two weird things that don't belong together and think ha it's a joke now uh, and I I think I'm kind of rely on that a bit too much these days, so I would like to mix that up a little bit more. The thing I like about my artwork was completely unplanned. I thought I was just doing these strange little illustrations because they were funny, but I found that when you look at them you can't help but assign a little story to them, like how did the situation happen and where does it go from here? And I really liked that and I didn't plan that at all and it was just a happy little coincidence. In the future I want to explore more mediums like oils and gouache just to see how that works with my style. Uh, I also want to start working more in the real world, collaborating with artists and doing exhibitions and not just being anonymous online. My advice to new artists would just be to just keep creating the whole time. Uh, I have a thing where I keep waiting for the next big idea and the longer I wait the bigger the idea has to be and 
and it gets really daunting. I'd say just keep keep creating things and generally if you make enough stuff, some of it will be good. That's my advice. I hope you enjoyed and felt inspired by James Ormiston's artworks. Before we get into the artist challenge, I'll also quickly mention that I've managed to get you a 15% discount off James Ormiston's artworks on Redbubble. Use the code word PIZZAMOON on anything from James Ormiston's store. Artist challenge! Participate in this challenge with the hashtag ashowaboutart on Instagram and Redbubble. Participants will be featured on the next episode. Your challenge for this week is to create an artwork inspired by James Ormiston's artworks. You can use whatever medium you want, any way you want. I'm going to be using James's mantra of combining two unlikely things together. In my case, it's going to be a lobster and a knight in armour. The hardest part about this drawing is trying not to laugh at how ridiculous a knight looks like on a lobster. This notion keeps me awake at night often. After this line work, I decided to paint it digitally using Photoshop and I added some cool watercolour effects. And here's the final product. I also uploaded it to Instagram and Redbubble with the hashtag ashowaboutart. Looks pretty cray cray on Redbubble t-shirts. Upload and remember to use the hashtag ashowaboutart on Instagram and Redbubble. I'll be featuring your artworks in the next episode. Oh, and one person who participates will get a free artistic badass sticker pack. I can't wait to see what art creations you guys come up with next week. Thanks for drawing with me, and goodbye for now, but not forever. Check this out, this about dreams, patterns I carved out, materials given, I could have written my heart out, and God is dark now, I guess I gotta illuminate, so many people dying already can, seeing that tuna fake, to be frank, some duke it out, world's a kumite, assuming they ain't trained for this, nah, corrupt data on the blank is this, not what you think this is, I'm what you can't dismiss, kiss the sky when I wake, cause it could have been my wake.